I'm just doing this awful workout. I hate it. Well, if you hate it, then why are you doing it? Although I could ask the same question about coitus with Leonard. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I like that I hate it. It makes me work harder. And to clarify... The exercise, Sheldon. <laughs> Shouldn't you be getting ready for work? I'm not going. Would you like to know why? Uh, you're sad about not getting anything done last night, so you're gonna sit around and pout about it? Boy, I'm not nearly as mysterious as I think I am. <laughs> I invented a game. Wanna play? Sure. It's called Emily or Cinnamon. I give you actual quotes I've heard Raj say, and you guess if he was talking to his girlfriend or his dog. <laughs> Go ahead, make fun. You can't embarrass me. I've got a beautiful girlfriend and a dog who loves me so much, she drinks my bath water. <laughs> okay, who is he talking to, Emily or Cinnamon? I want you to know the bed feels so lonely when you're not in it. Yeah, I may not be liking this game so much. <laughs> cinnamon, give me another one. Okay, Emily or Cinnamon. Check it out, I got us matching sweaters. We all got the Christmas card, Cinnamon. <laughs> you know, a man can care deeply about a woman and a pet. It's not strange. Ooh, Emily, I heard him say that to Emily. <laughs> hey, I thought you were staying home. You know, I was, but after talking to Penny, I realized something. I, first, She's trying much harder to stay attractive in this relationship than you are. <laughs> and second, the reason I may not be progressing in my research is I've created too pleasant of an environment for myself. What do you mean? Well, according to a classic psychological experiment by Yerkes and Dodson, in order to maximize performance, one must create a state of productive anxiety. You know, so, I'd like to ask you all to do something for me. Keep me on my toes. You know, to, to just throw me off my game. You know, essentially, go out of your way to make my life miserable. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> What's in it for us? Well, I OK, we'll we can... do it. <laughs> Thirty-three seconds. Okay, that'll be our baseline. You know, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but when a mouse completes a maze, it gets a food pellet. It also gets its brain plucked out with tweezers. And its last meal was a food pellet? You're a monster. <laughs> All right, next we're going to introduce an anxiety-inducing stimulus, measure your stress levels, and see how it affects your problem-solving rate. Very well. And good luck. I'm a pretty laid-back guy. <laughs> Ready? Begin. <laughs> Why'd you pop it? I'm sorry, I was aiming for your heart. <laughs> Look, I know you don't like it, but that's the point of the experiment. I need to irritate you to find your optimal anxiety zone. And you said no to tickling polka music or watching me eat a banana. <laughs> Who eats them horizontally? My mother said that's how good girls do it. 